we've been talking about this subject for a long time. We keep the best for, for last. Our West Maui Hospital, those of you remember, we've been talking about this since 1999 when we brought it up, is it feasible or not? And we've been going every year. We've had ups and downs and uh, we've got ups now. We're ups, so that we got some good news. Please join me in uh, welcoming Dr. Jerome Tannenbaum. Sure, thank you. Yeah, be fine. I appreciate the kind words. Um, actually, it's it's interesting. The the more that I've I've been visiting, the more I realize how much this community needs a hospital. And actually, the more amazed that I am that you don't already have a hospital, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, we, we started, um, actually, I'm a nephrologist, a kidney specialist by training. And uh, a number of years ago, I was developing dialysis centers all around the United States. And uh, what we found is that it was very hard. We, we were trying to build clinics in... Yes. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. We were trying to build clinics in rural co communities and uh, so that our dialysis patients could have easier access to, to their care. But it was very, very hard for us to find, uh, in, in these small communities, it was hard to find tradespeople who were able to do the complicated plumbing and air conditioning that is required in these clinics. And so one thing led to another, and, and our company um, learned how to build clinics in a very unique fashion. And by doing it, we were able to deliver care to the rural communities much more effectively uh, and for a more cost-effective price. That's how I actually came to know the situation here in West Maui. Uh, our company, Sanderling Healthcare, has a proprietary method of building hospitals. And uh, we were introduced to this community because as we had heard that your hospital project had become stalled. And one of the things is that hospitals are very, very expensive to build and the cost of building hospitals keeps going up. And some of the architects who were involved in the project heard about our system and thought maybe we could uh, facilitate getting a hospital here in West Maui. So we came over, as Joe said, my, my wife, who is my partner in this business, and I jumped on the plane, and we came to West Maui. And I have to admit, coming to West Maui had a lot more attractive attraction to us than going to Tulia, Texas, which was the alternate stop. And uh, we got here and realized that this community really, uh, you have a very unique situation and we think that we can really help uh, get you what you need. So, let's see, I've got to... Okay, so we began working with Joe uh, Pluta and the rest of the West Maui uh, Improvement Foundation in July 2012. And the first thing, of course, that we had to do was identify uh, not only West Maui, but also the others who were participants uh, and constituents in this project. And so we developed agreements with West Maui and with the Newport Hospital Corporation, which holds the certificate of need. And our next step was really to identify the best operating partner that we could find for your hospital. Uh, building a hospital is one thing, but operating a hospital is quite another. And we went out, uh, we know a lot of people who are in the hospital business, uh, and we went out and found a number of them who were potentially interested. Uh, our criteria was that they had to be able to either invest or raise the capital necessary to build this hospital, and they had to have a significant uh, track record in operating hospitals of this size. So, yes, that'd be great, Deborah. Can you, uh, all you need to do is hit the down arrow. Yeah. And so we, um, the first thing we, we set out to do, of course, was 
make sure that we understood what was to be built. And you had several different sites that were being considered. And of course, we had to consider the size of the facility, the topography, the cost of developing the site, how long and how much it would cost to get entitlements for that site, uh, needless to say, convenience for the people who are going to be using the hospital, and how long will it take to open the doors of the hospital based on that particular site. And of course, last but not least, is even though this is going to start as a 25-bed hospital, I'm sure that this community will end up having a much bigger hospital over time simply because of the, uh, uh, the dynamics and the demographics of the area. So we wanted to make sure that whatever site is selected is capable of supporting expansion in the future. So our first, uh, as I said, our, our first thing was to make this project more affordable. It's very, very expensive to build hospitals in general. It is extremely expensive to build hospitals in California and even more expensive to build hospitals in Hawaii. And our system basically uh, streamlines the process and we actually prefabricate portions of our hospital buildings in a factory and then we ship them out in large pre-assembled uh, components and using that method we were able to uh, s significantly lower the cost of what this project was going to ultimately require. And of course having a lower de development cost makes the project financially more viable. As I said, once we, site, once we refined the site uh, selection with the help of Joe, the architects, and all people involved, we went out looking for per potential operators, and we presented this to a number of operators, four of whom reviewed the project in significant detail, but declined. And their primary reason was not that they didn't like the hospital, it's not like they didn't feel it was going to be successful, but these are companies based in the Southeast and the Midwest, and for them, they felt that the distance to Hawaii was uh, too significant, especially given they're working on many projects at this time, and to their credit, were unwilling to take on the responsibility of building a new hospital and not giving this community full attention. We found two operators who are uh, also reviewed the project in significant detail, and I'm happy to say both have a very high level of interest. Uh, I've known these operators uh, for quite some time. One of them is uh, one of them runs a number of critical access hospitals. Uh, critical access hospitals are actually it's a designation this hospital will have. By definition, a critical access hospital is in an isolated community such that if you don't have this hospital operating, you've got critical access to care. And as with your hospital, uh, critical access hospitals tend to be smaller. They're restricted to 25 beds by the U.S. government uh, Medicare rules. Um, and so we chose to find someone who knows how to run hospitals of that size, and the first operator clearly does. And the second operator is also one who has, a, has an extensive experience in operating uh, surgical centers and uh, small rural uh, and urban hospitals. And both have very experienced hospital management teams having been in this business over 25 years. <clears throat> 